Now we're going to see how we can reference some static assets in our Blade templates and make those assets be handled by Vite. So for example, inside my main Blade view index.blade.php, I'm going to create a container for images and then I'm going to add a couple of images on the page. And for this, I'm going to use Vite class to reference static assets by the pass. Before this lesson, I have already created a folder with an images img inside of resources and put there a couple of images with names 1 and 2. And now these images I'm going to show on the page. As we can see, the image folder is located inside of resources with a couple of files. And indeed, on the page we see those images, but for now the width is too big. Now we're going to restrict it. But what's more important, as we can see, those images have been served by the width server. So we can actually apply any kind of transformations or optimizations to those images before they are served to the browser. But for now, before going any further, I'm going to switch over to app.css and restrict image widths to 150 pixels. And then I'm gonna change a couple of other styles in order to show those images right above the title. Let's add a property flex direction with a value colon to the body element. And then to position those images in one row, I'm going to make images container a flex container and add a spacing between those images, let's say five pixels. And this is what we get in the browser. So now what happens if we're actually going to build the project? And let's see if those images are going to be included in the folder with the build project. So as always to build the project, I'm going to run npm run build. And the first thing we're seeing is that those images are not present in the list of files that were placed inside of build folder. In the browser, we're also going to see an error that occurs when we're trying to reference asset by the following pass. So if it wasn't able to find this image in the build folder, because during the build, the image has not been included in the build. And if we'll take a look inside manifest.json, in here we're also not going to see any mentions of images. And that is why Vit Blade Directive doesn't know where to look for images. So to fix this problem and let Vit know about our images, we need to include one instruction in the JavaScript file. Specifically, we're going to use method called glob on the meta object like this. And in here we have to list all those pass to files that we wish to include in the resulting build. In our case, I'm going to include all the images from the img folder. Basically, those are two images we are referencing inside of the blade template. So after writing this line, if we're gonna run development server, and take a look at the transformation that Vit has performed with our app.js, the file that we have added that globe method into. We can see that that method called to the globe method has been transformed into such syntax with dynamic imports of our images. So that means now anytime we're gonna build a project, Vit will know about our images and it is going to include those images in the folder with the build project. So let's try it out and run the build again. And this time in the list of the generated files, we can see that those images from the IMG folder have been copied into the build folder. And if we're gonna take a look inside manifest.json, sure enough in here, we're gonna see pass to those images that are located inside of the build folder. So now anytime we're gonna reference any image from the IMG folder by using Vit class like this, Vit will know where to look for those images inside build folder. And indeed, we are seeing that images have been successfully loaded on the page directly from the build folder.